Hey everybody, this is Megan with Plum Crazy Adventures. I hope that you'll enjoy our video today as we explore the iconic and, in my opinion, one of a kind Presque Isle, which is up in Erie, Pennsylvania. As you can see behind me, that is the Presque Isle Lighthouse. Uh, that is one thing that we've uh, when we first started coming up here, uh, it was completely closed off. You couldn't go into it or do any kind of tours or anything. And uh, with COVID this past year, I think that they had it very limited or not at all. Um, I, I have to admit, I'm not 100% sure on that because we only came up here, I think, twice uh, to enjoy the beach during COVID season. So hopefully someday that is something that we'll get to do, go up in the top of that lighthouse. And if we do, we'll make sure that we bring you along for that. Um, until then, I hope that you enjoy our driving around Presque Isle and seeing some of the different things you can do in the winter up here. Enjoy. So this is one of the stops that we've made today, and I just wanted to take a minute to show you one of the places that you can go. And also, look at all the seagulls! Mine! 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 <laughs> One of the really amazing things about coming here in the winter, I mean, first, you get to see all these birds that you kind of forget about in the summertime because you're looking at the waves, you're excited about going and spending time on the beach, or you're looking, you're in the marsh and you're looking for ducks and such. But without all the tree foliage, Scott and I didn't realize that this little piece of heaven was here. And we also can't figure out how we're going to get over there, but we're going to try. Jamie, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. I know you hate birds. So currently, we're parked at the Perry Monument parking area. This is a little point. Let me get around this tree real quick. Sorry about that. You can see that over there is, looks like a ship that's attached to a tug that's brought it in. But right over there is Erie and the Erie Shipyard. Erie is one of the biggest ports for shipping in the, uh, in the Great Lakes. Sorry, Nick distracted me over there. You can see him and Scott are over there. And if you give me a second, wrong way. Right there is the Perry Monument. And we're gonna walk over there in a minute. And I will read to you why the Perry Monument is so important. So if you'll look, look at the little goose tracks. That's so fun. 
when I was a kid growing up in Southeast Ohio, we used to always try to track things in the winter time, mostly deer and all that fun stuff. <sighs> My niece and I spent all kinds of time outside in the winter. I don't know what was wrong with us. You don't feel it as much when you're a kid, I'll tell you that. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to the camera. I'm trying not to bust my butt. So this is the Perry Monument. It commemorates the victory of Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry over the British in the Battle of Lake Erie on September 8th, 10th, 1813. It's 110 feet, no, 101 feet above uh, lake level. Well, that doesn't exactly tell us how tall it is, does it? Taper six and a half feet at the top. Huh, I don't know. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> He's coming towards us. Oh, you're <laughs> Hi, buddy. Did you come to learn with me? Now, in case anybody was wondering, with Nick not having his mask on, we still are supposed to wear masks in Pennsylvania, but nobody's around. We're in an outdoor space. We're letting the kid be a kid. If anybody else decides to come through, I do have masks in my pocket and we'll put them on. One of the reasons I really enjoy coming up here. Pennsylvania can be a very dreary place during the winter. What well, seems like almost every time we come up here, we get breaks in the clouds and we can see bright blue sky which I can pan this up just a second. You can see bright blue. Yeah. Just gonna stop for a second. You can see where the waters come up over the break. Yeah. I'm going to skirt around the ice because I'm a wimp. hard to see in the video, but you can see. That's a laugh. For those of you that were wondering. So the shipping channels are clear, but look at how all the ice has been broken up and refroze and broke up. The Wienermobile? Oh, we just missed the Wienermobile! just went across the bridge over there. How cool is that? Even the Wienermobile comes to Presque Isle in the winter. I'm really sad we missed him. I don't know if I... Hopefully I got a little bit of that at the tail end of the... As he was crossing. I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in enough. There he goes. Now that is what you call completely random.
Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if people actually stay in these in the winter or not. Some people come out that do ice fishing and stuff out here. That's true. I'm pretty sure that there's, you'll see like red tents set up. I mm. think those are yeah, ice fishermen. You can actually see ice fishermen right there. Oh wow, so you can actually stand on it because he's just sitting there having a good old time. Yep. There he is. Wow. I like the little fake lighthouse right beside this one. Yes, isn't that neat? If you look real close here, you can see a dog and a fisherman standing here. Look at that. hard to believe that it doesn't look like it's very thick. <laughs> now how cute is that, that they actually have turtle crossing signs? Granted, we probably won't see any turtles today, but in the summertime, they are everywhere. I can't wait to come back and show you guys what this place looks like in the summer. It's a major difference. I think one of the reasons why we enjoy coming up here so much and even driving, like, of course, we love going to the beach and being able to sunbathe and get our little bit of wave therapy, but the marshes that are here are absolutely amazing. It's really mind-boggling just how much life is out there, even in the winter. Uh, you don't see it nearly as much, but there's still stuff going on out there. And it really reminds us of our favorite vacation destination, which is Chincoteague. Virginia because they are very well known for their own marshlands and then when you go over onto Assateague you have all of the marshes that are there as well. Fun fact. There she is everyone. Presque Isle Beach. It's really hard to believe that six months ago well about four months ago I think we were here in August we brought Nick up for the day so that we could take him to the beach and swim because we didn't get to go to a beach this year. And this was exactly where we were. Just right down there is where we had all of our beach equipment out and he got to play in the sand. He went out into the water. This is actually a really great beach area. The swimmable beaches, this is being one. In the summertime with children, because if they're not real strong swimmers, you can see the surf's not that bad. It's about like this in the, uh, in the summer as well. Now I know that you all have been listening to me talking about all of our fun things that we've done here in the summer and you're like, but Megan, it's January, okay? Why on earth are you up here in January? Well, there's a ton of fun things that you can do up here in Presque Isle in the winter too, um, as I'm sure that you'll see or have seen depending on how I get the video edited. Uh, there's people that can go biking, um, people walk up through here. There's amazing trails that you can go through the marshes, through the uh, forested area that's towards the beginning of Presque Isle. You can come and just listen to the waves that are going behind me. I mean, that that just made the trip for me from Pittsburgh, a two-hour drive, just getting to listen to the waves. Um, I'm definitely a beach person as far as maybe not the sand, but just the, the feeling and the sounds and stuff that you get to hear whenever you're at a beach. So those are just a couple of the things that you can do here in the winter. Or take a drive. Um, I know that you're going to see quite a bit of footage from us in the vehicle. Uh, I know not everybody enjoys that, but it's about 28 degrees here. And um, as you can see, I didn't bother bringing a hat. Um, I have gloves, but not my snow gloves. So we'll stop and we enjoy a little bit until we get too cold. And then we hop in the truck and we go to our next little spot that we enjoy. And that's how we do our trips up here in, in the winter time when we want to see stuff and kind of just connect with nature a little bit. It's um, this 
especially in the winter time, it gets really hard for a lot of people to do that. And this is a great location to be able to go and connect a little bit. So I'm ho hoping you're enjoying this so far. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick panoramic. As you can see, Scott and Nick are nice and safe and warm inside the truck. And that is a sheet of ice between me and them. That is one downfall of coming today. Uh, some of the places are definitely icy. So I'm gonna take you with me and we're going to attempt to get back to the truck without me busting my butt. Success, I made it. Okay, folks, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you ever see that we're on Instagram and we're coming up here to Presque Isle, guaranteed we're going to be parked right around here somewhere because this is our absolute favorite beach area. We're not huge swimmers. Um, if we have the teenagers, uh, we'll sometimes go to like the more swimmable beaches, but this is one of our favorites. As you can see, that's part of the reason why. We like coming up here for the sunsets and being able to see the lighthouse once she starts up uh, with the light at the end of, or in the evening. I apologize I'm stumbling over my words. It makes it so worth it. Makes you feel like you're right on the Atlantic or the Pacific coasts. Uh-oh. I hear a nick. Now, last time we were here, it was a lot warmer. It's only about 28 degrees today. So he got to enjoy a lot more of the beach, which, oh my goodness, it's not even here. Whoa. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, I guess that goes my idea of showing this today. That's unbelievable. It wasn't even like this when we were here a couple of years ago and the lake was froze over. Whoa. That is really incredible.
places to find seashells. Granted, they're not very big, but I like the teeny tiny spirals anyway. <laughs> all the ice. Now, in this general vicinity, not necessarily right here, a couple years ago, uh, we heard that the lake had completely frozen over and that there were no waves, nothing. They had to cut a shipping lane all the way out there. And so we took the boys out of school. We came up for the day and all of us, before Nick was born, got to stand on Lake Erie, completely frozen, over on this side. It was one of the coolest experiences that we've gotten to do up here in Erie. Well worth it. Now, it's going to take a lot, but I don't think that we're going to have any uh, frozen lakes this year. There's the beautiful lighthouse. back side of the lighthouse. We were watching a sunset, or it's a little early for a sunset, but uh, there you go. I apologize, my gimbal died, so this might be a really rough. I apologize if that's the case. But Scott and Nick's already headed to the truck. I'm on my way, and uh, I think that's going to wrap up our video of Presque Isle in Erie, PA. Uh, absolutely beautiful place to come. Uh, fall, winter, spring, summer, especially summer. I'm missing summer because, like I said, I'm cold. But uh, definitely check this place out. We absolutely love coming up here. Uh, we know a lot of our friends and uh, some family members that actually drive up too. So, uh, endorsed by a lot of folks and it's uh, completely free to come in here um, so with that being said if you liked this video please uh, like and subscribe to our channel uh, every little bit helps please like this video as well we're also on Facebook and Instagram um, we have a web page as well but it's uh, currently down under construction so don't be surprised if you happen to see that. Hopefully I'll have that up by next week. And as always, oh, I'm a Get tired. I have a lot of layers on because I, I don't do well in the cold. So that makes it harder too. <laughs> so as always, are you ready for your next plum crazy adventure? We sure are. See you soon.